welcome to Raw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm Colt. I was ready for my cue. Your iceberg cup. Yep. All right. In the chapel. First John three eighteen. First John. He found this all by himself. 18. Can you figure this out? He's excited. Okay. Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. Very good. So. Dear children. Actions, no, no, no. <laughs> Actions speak louder than words. It's in the Bible. Carl and Wilbur hate us, don't they? It's possible. <laughs> okay, so let's move on into in the barn stalls. What's going on with the dogs? We have separated Wilbur, them. Wilbur, that's enough! We have separated them. And in two separate them. kennels, and they're in two separate rooms. Mm -hmm. But what have they been doing? Well, Carl's going to sleep now. Yes. They're throwing hissy fits. They've run off and not listened. Yes. Like, to a point of it's dangerous. Um, actually got Carl in at one point when they ran off, and Wilbur just sat down where he was at. But then when you'd approach him, he'd take off running again. It's like, nah, 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 you can't kiss me. Yeah. So, they're eight months old. They are developing that pack mentality. They go Wednesday to get... Snip, snip. Hey, guys. Fixed. I am fueled up. We can go all night long. No, we're not. Where's my banana shake? Will you run to get it, please? If it's out in the truck, no. It's not. It's right out there. Okay. It's cold outside. The it is. It's like 12 degrees. And in Oklahoma, that's really cold. <laughs> so, anyway, Carl and Will were separated last night for the first night and slept just in separate rooms. It's cold enough outside, folks. That would turn back into ice cream outside. It's a banana shake. If anybody's, a, I am one of those weird people. I love banana milk and banana shakes. So I don't know how much for a seat? Though. You can get them at Brahms. Can you slide me some seat? I almost just like yanked the whole thing. <laughs> Who's gonna do that? Mm -hmm. But then I thought we're not allowed to cuss on camera. Mm -hmm. So when you hit the ground, we have to start all over <laughs> again. Because I know you'd be yelling at me, and not nicely. Yeah. So, so banana shake. Just. Mountain so. Mountain. Yeah, not that he needs that. Ah, uh, uh, Carl. So, Carl is in here with mm. us. Wilbert I'm not sharing, Carl. is out there with us, at, with me at night in the living room. They're in kennels. They're still kennel training. But the uh, electric collars, they work, um, and they respond when they have them on. But we, I don't feel comfortable leaving them on 24-7. I just put them on when they're outside. But they still slide off sometimes, don't they? Every once in a while, Carl has figured out how to grab his and take it off. Mm -hmm. Like the tail, he'll reach over and grab the tail. Yes, I'm talking about you, you. And he'll grab the tail and he'll take it off. Yeah, so. Um, so you kind of get off, put it on there where the tail's on top of the back of its neck where you can't grab it. Yeah. Learn that one today. Um, but anyway. He didn't get it off at all after it. Wilbur, that. the other thing that we've noticed about him is since having distemper, He's not the same dog, is he? No, not really. What's his problem? He doesn't think. No. At all. He just reacts. There's no thought to it. And when Carl's not there to instigate it or we're not out there, he doesn't think. He just sits or lays down. Mm -hmm. That's it. The minute you put interaction with him, he tries to think. He gets confused and just goes haywire. So we're thinking we're going to split Carl off. And start Carl um, going into the farm dog routine. But Wilbur, I think he's going to protect the inside of the house for a while, huh? Because I think he can get it. I just think he's going to take longer, if that makes sense. So, and Moose is an awesome indoor dog, guard dog, so he can teach him, right? Yeah. He can. As long as Moose doesn't teach him to eat me, we're okay. <laughs> yeah. When anybody tries to come in, what does Moose do? He does not do that. Quit looking up your nose. What does Moose do when you... Yeah. He attacks. So, that's our dog issues. Wednesday morning they go to be snip snip. I'm hoping that that kind of calms them down. I don't know... It'll at least slow them down for a little while. I don't know if it will um, curtail Wilbur or not, because I just really don't think 
he can focus. So I, I don't know. We'll adapt. We always do. So, you put that down. What else is going on in the barn stalls? Oh, I just put it down so it can stay on. What else is going on in the barn stalls? What came today? Because we have some documents came in the mail. We have some issues oh. out on the pasture. What are they? We've got sheep with fiber breaks, right? Well, not really. We've got cattle that are looking thin. Why? Because we haven't been feeding our feed. Okay, why haven't we been feeding our feed? Because uh, we can't get it anymore. We have an issue with getting our feed. Um, now, we can get our meal to make it, but they won't sack it. So, we had to come up with a what? A bin to put it in. And did we do it? Yep, we've done some scrimping and saving, and we got us a bin box. Yep. Okay, so if I can get that picture from my phone, or RJ's phone, onto the computer, you'll see that picture right here. Okay, so either you saw it or you didn't. Either way, I'm just saying. If you didn't, you get to see the picture. All right. Just imagine a three-ton barrel with a cone at the bottom, sitting on a stand. Pretty much. Yeah. Now, how, what's that going to It's big happen? enough to stick like 10 or 15 bodies, just so you know. Like, like a 55-gallon barrel is one body barrel. <laughs> so, I mean, you're talking a lot of these things. Like, <laughs> big, it, big. It holds Everybody tons. watches those murder shows. Three on. tons is 6,000 pounds. Right. So. It, it will not hold 6,000 pounds of feathers, but it will hold 6,000 pounds of gold, just so you know. Feathers take up more space. <laughs> it will hold 6,000 pounds of feed. Right. Now, am, am I going to order 6,000 pounds all at once? Yep. We are. Fill her up to the now, top. Use her to the bottom. In the meantime, th this, it, January, we got a thing saying January 1 is when they're no longer doing it. So this has just come about in, what, a month? So, yeah. I've had to put a lot of money together because these bins are not cheap, are they? No. We're looking at about $1,000 for that bin. And I had to have him deliver it. So, that's included in that. Then, the six ton of, or the three ton of feed is going to cost me what? Like 750 So, we're talking right at $1,800 just to get us started this way. Now, the good thing is we own the bin. It's not a rent. It's not anything. Um, it's ours. We can move it where we want. We can put it where we want. Um, if we decide not to do our feed this way, we can sell it if we want. But for now, I had to come up with about $1,800 in a short, a very short amount of time. And it's been a struggle. But we scrimped, saved, and got it. Um, we're over halfway there, aren't we? Yep. We got the bin. And, and in two weeks, we'll have all the feed in it. We hope to this week, correct? So, um, I think I've got most of the feed money, to be honest with you, huh? Yep. So, when most I get, well, when I get my paycheck, though, okay. right, so. then I'll have, when I get my paycheck for this week, I should have all of it, and we should be set up and gone. Now, what have we noticed that the animals, we went to feeding... A 20% pellet. Pellet. Uh, explain what that means. Well, the one one of our horses kept trying to call it, so we had to go find a different feed for their herd. Okay, so let's back up. We use cracked corn, oats, soybean meal. Yep. That's all that's in our feed. It's natural. It's just grains cracked up. Good for them, right? Yep. So when we went to town, we had to get one for the ho a pellet for the horses and a pellet for the sheep, goats, and cattle. Yes, because some of the stuff I've that's in one will poison the other. Right. We've been and back and forth And the first feed we got for the horses didn't work very good. No, it made them aches. sick, and they tried to colic, which is pretty they much a, a gut or belly ache. But it makes them lay down, roll, and then it'll twist their inner intestine, and then it can lead to big trouble. Yep. Correct? Okay. So we had to go back to the feed store and get a different feed for the horses. Yep. 
but the one I got for the cows, it's not, nothing's getting sick on it, it's just not as good a feed. No, and so they're looking thin. Um, yep. With this really cold weather, you can't pump enough of that into them. They have hay out, correct? Yep. And we've opened up yet another stall so that they'll have a bigger bale of hay, correct, don't they? Mm -hmm. um, the one that's so on the pasture the is is gone. Yes. So <laughs> we're going to go get some more here in the next area so if we can. Yep. Um, we have an ample supply. It's just... It's been like 12 degrees, 17 degrees, and the horses and cattle just aren't, and that feed, okay, here's my belief on feed, Here and it's the beach. same reason that I don't like molasses. Number one, I've never, <coughs> he's choked on his words, um, <coughs> quit shaking the table. Hold the chair. <laughs> uh, it went down the wrong pipe. He'll be fine in a minute, won't you, son? <laughs> so anyway, I don't believe in feeding these little pellets to animals because they are pretty much, they take all the nutritious stuff and they boil it in water and all this and then smash it back together and compress it. <laughs> He's dying. <laughs> well, I believe that they lose a lot of the nutrients in that, and I call them cardboard. I've never been healthy eating cardboard, so therefore I don't expect my animals to. I, I don't do in your lungs is not good. <laughs> Did it burn? <laughs> yes, it's still <laughs> there. <laughs> <coughs> this, uh, and I know how drowning victims feel. It's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> okay, dude, it, it's not as bad as you say. Yeah, it is. It's terrible. <laughs> it, it only feels that way because of your lungs. Like they're on fire. <laughs> I know. Oh. RJ has lung damage. So when he does, mm. uh, what is it, aspirate anything, it <laughs> makes him think he's dying. I am here, folks, because this is not how living feels. <laughs> anyway. This is not living. You're dying. And he's over dramatic. He's never died from it before, okay? Yes, it hurts, but. <laughs> well, I only get the chance to die once. I mean, it's not like you can kill me multiple times. <laughs> no, but this isn't the first time you've aspirated anything, is it? Probably not, but boy, that hurt. <laughs> it does. Um, and part of it is because he's got lung damage and it settles in the lung damage part. It's, yeah. You okay? Yeah, I felt like my lungs just quit working. It was like, nope, we're shutting off. Get, kick everything <laughs> out. Throw everything out. We're done. Anyway, so, um, molasses. Kids, take this lesson. Mountain Dew is bad for you. Yep. Molasses actually causes an animal to shiver off more nutrients to burn up the molasses to get to the good stuff, correct? And that is a scientific proven fact. And um, there's a study out through one of the big universities. I've got it bookmarked. If anybody wants that, let me know and I will definitely send it to you because molasses is the worst thing that you can put in your feed for any animal. Um, it literally takes more for their body to digest the molasses than they get out of the feed that you put it in. Wow. So you can starve one to death on molasses. Just say it. Um, I'm glad my lungs quit protesting. <laughs> Anyway, so I don't believe in molasses, I don't believe in overprocessed feed, and this is why. So we now have sheep mm -hmm. with fiber breaks, so we could lose some fiber off of it. We've got some cattle that are not looking great, correct? Mm -hmm. What else? Um, we've got a horse that continually wants to call it. Um, and anything else? Mm -hmm. We just have some pretty bad looking animals and there there's no amount that you can up it to because you can only give sheep and goats so much before they found her on it so you can't overfeed it or you'll kill them and we're not underfeeding it are we i don't think so we're feeding them a lot of it yeah we're going through hundreds of pounds a day so um i think i went and picked up what 600 pounds you went saturday and picked up 600 pounds this is monday and we're, about out. we're almost out. 
So we cannot feed them anymore. They're shivering because of the cold. The quality feed, we can't stress it enough. If you can't do natural grains, don't. The animals' bodies are not made to do this cardboard stuff, this pellet stuff, this high infused, high performance stuff. They just need grain, correct? The wild mustangs, they don't even need grain, do they? No. They eat on hay. That's it. <coughs> They've never had feed until they came to our house. Correct? Yeah. So, right, get, 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 um, guys. it's just one of those things that feed and nutrition is super important. And we're stuck between a rock and a hard spot. And after this week, it's supposed to be under control. Correct? Mm -hmm. Why don't people say we're stuck between two rocks? Why do they say a rock and a hard spot? We'll look that up later. I'm just saying, why do people put between a rock and a hard spot? I mean, it'd be similar to say, we're stuck between two rocks. Those are both hard objects. Instead of... Because, see, this pop bottle could be hard. Son, but if you take the cap off of we it. We don't have time for this. this. No. All right, moving on. So, those are the problems on the farm. Our one big problem that we're working on right now. We're out of conversation arts. That's the biggest problem in the world right now. We need more. Let's go get more. That's not. All right, see ya. Um, okay, so. I don't think I should go get conversation arts. You can go outside. Bad. You can no, go I'm outside. I'm not going outside. There's not any out there. I have to go to town. Yeah, so go to town. You still have to go outside to get in the truck to go. He's not going. <laughs> Nine okay, one so. operator, I need conversation arts delivery, please. ASAP. <laughs> it's an emergency. I think they frown upon that. Yeah. Can't call 911 over conversation hearts. Can you call a pizza delivery? You got to bring in pizza and uh, conversation hearts with a pizza. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, so that's. I'll tip good. Is that all that there is in the barn stalls? Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. There's that thing. Vane in the steer. Talk about it. Yep. We give him his stuff and he's doing all right. We're going to give him another one. I he's got another Friday. dose. That has to be done. It <clears throat> takes two people, and he's huge. Yeah, he's kind of big. It takes a two-man job. So I'll just plan tomorrow. We'll get it done. Yep. So um, we did that. All right. Anything else? Mm, yeah. No, it's not. Yes. yes Moving yes. on. Mending fences. What'd you get fixed this week? The pig pen. Explain what's going on with her. Uh, and Charlotte kept getting out. So we put her in a different pen. And I went back and I finally got the pen fixed. This happened like two months ago. I'm a little behind on my time. Um, you got, finally got it fixed. <clears throat> finally got fixed. But and is she I'm in gonna, there yet? No, because I, I didn't get fixed till like almost dark. And I don't want to stick her in there. And then in case my fix doesn't work, her get out and be running around all night. So, because the last time I found her, she was on the railroad tracks. And we don't really want her to become smashed bacon. No. So, we're going to wait till daylight and I'll put it back in there and see if it works. Yep. It should work. Basically we lined the bottom of the fence with wood <clears throat> so she can't root underneath it. Um then anything else in mending fences? Yes. What? What else did I fix? Oh I fixed a shed today. The wind tried to blow a shed apart. The wind has been horrible. Mm -hmm. So it's been windier than in the middle of a hurricane. That would be the eye of the hurricane, and it's not windy at all in the eye of the hurricane. See? And it's been windier than <laughs> the middle of a hurricane. <laughs> okay. In the yard farm. Anything going on? Yes. yes. There's always Elizabeth, something going on. Elizabeth's thing. What are we doing? We're yeah. supporting another YouTuber. Yep. Uh -huh. We're giving away some yarn. We are. If you're watching this, um, go over to Elizabeth's Adventures, and we'll put a link in the description box below and enter her thing. You do not have to get the answers to the questions right. You just have to attempt. Okay? So she's put out the... There's three questions. Where she lives, what what <clears throat> kind of cat she has... Here we go, folks. I and have where the, we are located. I have all the answers for you. I'll tell you right now. It's cheat sheet. She is somewhere cold. Her cat is fuzzy. That's what kind of cat it is. He's fuzzy. He's got hair. She's black. Her name is B. Well, it's a cat, Mom. It's got hair. It's fuzzy. That's a, what's the kind of cat it is. Cat. <laughs> and we are further south, but it's still cold. 
Yeah. So, so Canada and Manx in Oklahoma. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just went with like the vague, I mean, the roundabout. If they watch this long and want to go enter for that yarn, there you go. You go with that. So, anyway. I'm going to put like a comment um, on our video. You guys skip to 20 minutes to get the cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> watch our video and go to the cheat sheet. Hey, watch our um, video. You must watch the first 20 minutes, so. It's anyway. somewhere, folks. Uh, anyway, so we're giving away those two skeins of yarn. One is a natural colored and one is a uh, pink with... Uh, I just want to know you sound like your nose scrunched up. Quit. Now, we also have another giveaway going on. What is it? Guess my age. Oh, yeah. That ends next is. week. So. Yeah, because then she gets older, folks. She gets yeah. even older. So, you have to guess my age in the comment below, comment section below, or on Facebook, right, or on the blog. All right, folks. Here's the answer. She's turning 62. <laughs> I'm not lying. If I'm lying, I'm dying. I'm 27. I'm trying to die anyway, so just so you know, <laughs> I, I could be lying, just so you know. <laughs> okay, so I'm 27. No, sorry. She's 53. All right, that's how old she's going to get. All right, just so you know, that's I'm a real answer ready. right there. Just go put it on there, guarantee winner. Winner, winner, it's chicken not. dinner. You cannot guarantee that because that's a lot. Okay, so moving on, we've got those two. And if um, they do it. And it's wrong. You just come out and go, you guys got hustled by my son. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so don't forget for Elizabeth, we're trying to help her grow her channel. So if Please you, like, subscribe. That's right. Up. Like, subscribe. You have to, in order to win the yarn, you have to be subscribed to her channel and ours. Okay. Just saying. That's, that's the deal. We're helping her grow, and that's what we want to do. So you have to be a subscriber. All right, anything else going on mm. in the yarn farm? Nope. The cat walks in. <coughs> and there goes <coughs> Moose. <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> the cat opens the screen door. Moose barks because he thinks somebody's here. Yep. Go back to sleep, little Moose scaredy dog. Moose is in his kennel, too, because we're dealing with the other two. And all of them are asleep, except Not anymore. for Wilbur. Not anymore. <laughs> Just who woke him up. <clears throat> anyway, okay, so, on the porch... It is really, no, really No, in the farmhouse comes first. In the farmhouse. Mm -hmm. It's actually fairly nice in here, folks. It's only just too sure weather. It's just camp. cold. Um, you got the pig pen fixed. Mm -hmm. Just different stuff. You did some roping. How did that go this weekend? Pretty good. But not good enough. What's that mean? I went to four I went to Kansas City Chiefs, too. I went to four okay. opens. I went three checks. Pretty good. Just not really great. So, um... <clears throat> but on Sunday, I got to win third with Juicy. That's what everybody calls him. They call him Juicy. Anyway, his name is, uh, uh, what is his name? I can't remember. Juicy Hamilton. I don't know. It's Justin? Ju yeah, Justin Hamilton. He plays for the Kansas City Chiefs. Got to watch him play against the Patriots the other day. And then I got to rope with him. Yep. So. so. And win with him. So. And he won with him. Him and, yep. and they, the... Ropers call him Juicy. Yeah, that's his nickname. And everybody so does. Everybody yeah. calls him Juicy, so they really don't know. But on the back of his jersey, it says Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Juicy Hamilton, but we don't really know. I Juicy's think his not first name's Justin. I think. I want to say it starts with a J. J. Could be anything. Could be anything. Yeah. Okay, so while he was off being a superstar and oh, roping yeah. and meeting other superstars, Heck yeah, I started me a. A bandana. You're making a bandana. That's cool. A shawl. No, it's a bandana. It's oh, a understand? shawl. It's not done. This is just the first section. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Tell me what yarn this is that we're using. Two ply fingering weight. What kind is it? Soft. It's face soft enough for your face. Okay, son. Smells good. It's got a pretty color to it. What kind? Okay, so I'm doing the Cozy Crochet Knit Miss Jitsy Designs. Venus meets Granny Shawl. Here is the words in case you are looking for the pattern. It is a free pattern on Ravelry. 
and this is what it's going to look like when it's done. It will have three sections. Um, it's a pretty simple pattern. She's got a, a diagram that is based off of, but I found some mistakes in it and some mistakes I can see in through the this. wording. Oh, close back up. I could see it through this. Okay. Um, there's some mistakes in the way she wrote out the pattern, but I knew what she meant. So um, there's some repeats that is just like pretty good free pattern, if you ask me. Yeah. Mistakes but in the writing, but you can still make out what they're talking about. You still about. know what you're talking about, and once you get the pattern done, there's... There we go, I got it. Oh, it's closing. Oh, it's closing. Okay, oh, so closed. from... This is row one out to here. There's a certain way you do it in the pattern, and once you get it down, it's fine. Um, and like I said... Is that I the one you redid like three times that night? Yeah, there, there's there's a printed thing in error in this, and I'm not great at reading patterns anyway, so when I read them, I do exactly what they say. I just went up and looked at the picture and figured out what she was talking about. Oh. And then we have the we granny square section. Problem, and then I've already start it. started on my second um, Venus shawl. A virus shawl? I don't know what she called it. You guys, anybody that needs to tutor mom on English, you can virus, feel free. Via vir the virus pattern. Feel free so to there's a granny it. So there's a granny square section and a thing and you switch back and forth between them and like where was it at where she repeated the same line twice in the directions and if you take it out it makes perfect sense but I want to say it's in like on rope oh my hole closed up I can't see you guys no more oh. anyway so once you get the pattern down it's pretty okay, simple mom. it's not hard so what kind of, of yarn is this son? what am I using Everybody soft. keeps saying that it's pink, that it's purples, but it's actually pink and mauves. I don't know if you can see that. It's not purples. It's pinks and mauves. Pinks and mauves. And I really and like the, the pooling of it. Yes, it looks good. Pink straw. Yeah. Pink. That's a hot pink, though. Yeah. Okay, so what yarn is this? Sun. This is a fingering weight. Yeah. She's, she uses a... Um, oh, no, let me floss my teeth with it. Stop it. This. She uses a worsted weight DK. Um, and she uses 500 grams of medium. So I, I don't do grams, so I don't know. Um, oh, look, like I'm holding my ears forward. <laughs> okay, make my ears move. Look, they're I moving. See. Okay, what kind of yarn is this for the last time? It's orange. Okay. It What's looks, in I can it? fly. I'm Devo. I'm Devo. I'm Devo. No, no. no. Oh, wait, hang on. It's still going to work. It's still going to work. Yeah, uh, I can fly. I can become Dumbo. Okay, if you break that piece of yarn, I'm going to beat you. Mm. What kind of yarn is this? Hang on, hang on. Let me get off my ear before you start yanking. What is this? 70%. Oh, here. 30% wool. Super soft. It's off. They already did that. Face. Mm -hmm. I made my ears move. Look at this, guys. Look so, at my ears. And I have another ball of this that I will be using. Um, because I'm using a fingering weight, so I may have to make it longer. I don't know. We'll see. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. I'm a bandit. I told you you had a band. Dana. I just it's said that. Now you really do look 60. <laughs> no offense to you older people out there in video land. No offense taken. Good day. Anyway, okay, so that's what I'm working on. What have you been working on? Anything? Staying warm. I had to let my belt out of size, so I got plenty of fat to shiver off. Yep, we did. We went to prom. Got, um, you got a strawberry shake, and I got a banana shake. Which was not the smartest move, considering it's about 10 degrees outside. I loved it. I got cold. I like banana milk. I like banana shakes. I like banana, banana, banana. Aren't you just bananas? Who was it the other day that told me that they didn't even know that there was such a thing as a banana shake? Well, folks, it's past my bedtime. That's a wrap. So. See you. Anyway, yes. All right, don't forget, we've got our giveaway going on, Elizabeth's giveaway going on, and that's it, right? Oh, hey, this is soap. It's bubbling. Yes, it is. Yes. My cleaning 
bottle. Anyway. That explains why it had soap in it. All right. So. Oh, no, we're not done. We got mail. In the farmhouse. We got mail. Oh, oh yeah. See, look at these. Not that. Come on, dude. Ooh. We got mail. And it, it's oh, probably a little late, but we don't care. Um, it's from. I'm not going to show you her address. Um, who's it from, son? In case there's some wackos out there that want to go stalk her. Mm -hmm. It's from... Let's, the Straw let's Family just, Farm. No, Canada. We got mail from Canada. Let's give some clues. We got this, which I love this idea. But it says, in case of emergency, please rescue dogs, cats, others and then a big blank and it leaves a space for you to write like how many two dogs one cat and 50 four dogs oh how many cats 14 13 we should just no put you gave two lot. away so 12 we should just put a lot and under other save the whole farm <laughs> save the whole farm so um i know where this is gonna go well bird you're okay. So it will probably say two dogs, no cats, and no others. Um, down in the little tiny house. Yeah. And Moose and well Will will be the two that are going to call that house home for a while. So we're pretty sure that they will have that. Okay, and then we got dun, 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 a calendar. A 2019 calendar, which I don't have. I don't know what these are, but these are like some heavy duty toilet paper rolls. They are awesome. Okay, so it's got the cutest pictures everywhere in this thing. And it's just, ah, look, hey, Wilbur. Look, oh, and they cover over RJ just fine. See, there's a one eyed kitty. There's another kitty, a couple of kitties. And <laughs> there's a couple of dogs. <laughs> and here's. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't want to <laughs> knock off the bench. You break your hip now. When she turns 60, it's kind of easy to break your hip, Mom. There's another kitty. Here's a dog. Anyway. And I'm so, not making the mistake of saying I see you. Okay? From what I understand, these dogs, like this is Maverick and his name. And they're ones at the SBCAC. He's got braces in his on his front feet. Um, oh, they're I ones that they've worked on and, and saved. And they're actual animals from the SPCA um, from British Columbia. Hey, I have a question. Or Canada, as you call it. Is the calendar in Canada the same as the U.S. calendar? Well, yes. The days of the year are the same. Except right, but for, like, August 5th is B.C. Day. It has different holidays. It's not, look, it's not going to have Thanksgiving on it. Canada so doesn't just, have Thanksgiving? That just blew his mind. No Thanksgiving was done. This is a Canadian calendar. Um, we're in the United States, and it's a... I can never go to Canada. They don't have that holiday. And I love ham well, so much. And turkey. And they don't have Veterans Day. Do they have, like, Columbus Day? Well, no, they weren't discovered by Columbus. He, he discovered, like, all of North America. Didn't he not? Canada's part of North America, folks. Okay, but the New Year's is on here. No Martin Luther King Jr. Day to get out of school? No. Close the banks? No. They have family day, though. Family There's day. Chinese New Year on here. They have family Valentine's day. Valentine's Day is on here. National Cupcake Day. we got to go to Canada, Mom. We <laughs> need to go. They're better than the February U.S. February 25th is National Cupcake Day. They're way better than the U.S. We have holidays during more. Remember, veterans. They have holidays for our cupcakes. <gasps> March 6th is Ash Wednesday. Oh, um, St. Patrick's spring. Day. What is that? E-Q-U-I-N-O-X. Equinox. Equinox. I'm tired. My, my eyes are not focusing. I'm sorry. Um, St. Patrick's Day. She's blind. Her eyesight. Daylight savings time. When she turned 51, her eyesight just started going down, folks. And, and that was how many years ago? About five or six. I mean, so she can't drive after Passover, dark. Passover. Passover ends. Easter Monday. Earth Day. 
Palm Sunday. Yep. So they have all the Easter ones. Those Victory are Day! I know. We're going to have to figure out what these are, what they are. Like, Mother's we'll have Day. to get, yeah, well, I don't they know have Mother's Day and like Father's holiday. Day. Um, summer Solstice is on here. Um, Canada Day! July 1st is Canada Day. So I, I'm not sure what that means. BC Day. August 5th is BC Day, which is British Columbia. Labor Day! That's the same. It, is it American? I, well, it I is. don't know if it's on the same day, though. It is. I'd bet on it. Is, Labor Day is always 1st of September. Like the first Monday. I'd bet on it. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, Fall Equinox. Yeah. Rosh Halikthan. <laughs> we don't know what that one is. It begins at sunrise. At sunset. So... Yeah. It's a night holiday. Hey, I know so what that one is. That involves one. a late Something night. Something ends at sunset. Yeah. Yum Kimpa. Thanksgiving. Is it October? Who puts Thanksgiving October, October 14th is their Thanksgiving day. <laughs> Halloween! Halloween. <laughs> Halloween is always there. Hey. Um, Remembrance Day, which is November 11th, which would be like our Veterans Day. So. We should put that on September 11th. Daylight <laughs> Savings ends. Um, Winter solstice, Boxing Day, Christmas Day, Hanukkah! First day of Hanukkah, and New Year's Eve. So I want to celebrate Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Mom. No, we're not Jewish. But I want, but I want 13 no. days of presents. It's eight. Oh. And you only get one present. Well, why do you celebrate it for eight days if you only get one present? I thought it was like Christmas eight times over, or 13 times over. No, you get little presents, one little present, like Christmas Eve. Oh. Should you tell me, like, no you Christmas give me death. one chip, one chip, one chip, and then, like, a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup? Well, I like Christmas Day where you get, like, the whole bag of chips and then a bag of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Yep. Okay, anything else? We did get mail from Elizabeth, and... How many fingers am I holding up? Don't start this with me. How many fingers am I holding up? None. Oh. You're supposed to ask me that. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up? Five. I'm waving Four bye. Four and a thumb. Bye. bye, bye I'll thumb. talk to you next time. Don't forget to enter the two contests um, on my age. And it's for a large skein of yarn. And the one for Elizabeth is just sub her. Answer the question silly if you have to. And then um, sub us. She's in Canada. The cat is fuzzy. And then yeah. you're down south. It doesn't matter if you get it right or wrong. Just saying. But in our contest it does. Only the winner winner gets the chicken dinner. That's right. In our contest, you have to guess my age, age. and if you, if there's more than one that guess, if there's more than one that guess it right, then you're put in for the drawing. Fifty-four, folks. I was telling you, fifty. Fifty-five. I'm twenty-seven. She's been twenty-seven for twenty years. I have not.